Okay, honestly, I'm sorry about this, y'all. I know it took me a little while to make this, but I've been a little busy. Uh, yeah, a little busy. But I got a good fragrance for you guys this time, and this one happens to be a personal favorite of mine. This one's called Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest. So if you know the original one, why am I holding it like this? If you know the original one, then you'll know this one is pretty good. It's a little dark. Hang on. Is that better? A little bit better? The one that I'm gonna be bringing to you guys today, fragrance review wise, sorry about the delay, is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest. Now this one for me is a, it's a citrus scent. It's citrus, but it isn't too overpowering. So it's actually perfect for the summertime, which is the exact reason why I'm deciding to show you guys this one now. So you can have something to wear for the summer days. A little tongue tied. So for the people who love notes, let's jump right into it. So the top notes for this fragrance are grapefruit, mandarin orange, bergamot, and lemon. There goes the citrusy part of that. The middle notes are rosemary, Sichuan, pepper. So what? Sorry. Placender Rosewood. Palisander. Yeah, that sounds better. Palisander Rosewood. Freesia and Hideon. Wait, what? Listen, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I uh, I don't know how to pronounce some of these words, so just bear with me. I'll probably like put it at the bottom or something. And the base notes are musk, incense, incense. What is wrong with me today? Oak moss and amber wood. I regret nothing. I'm not editing that out. Like I said, overall, I'd say this is a perfect summertime scent. It's light, it's clean, it's an eau de toilette, so it's not gonna be something that's gonna give you a headache if you're sensitive to scents, guys. Uh, if you're gonna give a young lady a hug, she's definitely gonna remember the scent on you. It does have a very strong lemony scent, so if I had to make a best recommendation, I'd recommend to spray it from far and spray it uh, generously. Don't overdo it. You don't wanna smell like a giant lemon walking outside of your house. Also, for me, in my personal experience when wearing it, I've always gotten compliments on it. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good scent for the summertime. If you don't know what to wear for the summertime, I wouldn't recommend this one though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd recommend something a little bit more neutral. This is for someone who is used to fragrances already and they wanna do something different, but I wouldn't recommend it as a first try. I'd recommend it more as a uh, someone who knows what they want or they know what they like and then they decide to wear this one. Thank you guys for all your patience because I haven't made one of these in a little while, but I figured why not now, what better time than the present, all right? I'm gonna do another one for the ladies because I think I've done maybe two or so for guys. So I'm gonna do one for the ladies as well. Uh, fellas, if you're looking to get your girl a birthday gift, I got you, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so thanks for all the support. Deuces. <laughs>